One of the biggest challenges I face as a solo content creator is honestly just having enough time to create enough content to post. And it always surprises me how shocked some people are when they hear how much time I put into just two videos. Personally, I've been wanting to branch out into other types of content for ages now, aside from just long form, but I just haven't had the time. Now, since I first started using ChatGPT around two years ago now, I've slowly become more and more reliant on it to just increase the efficiency of my workflow. Particularly particularly for things that are more text heavy, like titles, scripting, YouTube descriptions, captions, stuff like that. And I get sent offers all the time, like every second day from AI startups that are offering to speed up my workflow and make my life easier using AI. And to be honest, I delete 99% of them. But today I wanna to share the very first tool that I actually think I'm gonna start using outside of ChatGPT to hopefully speed up my workflow and increase the output of my content. And this is a new feature within Riverside called co-creator. If you're already recording your content in Riverside or uploading pre-made videos like I do, I genuinely think this might be one of the easiest ways to turn one recording into a week's worth of content really fast without spending hours and hours manually editing everything yourself. I think this has huge potential to really increase the reach of your content, especially if you're a solo creator or have a small team like me and you're limited on time as are all creators. I don't know a single creator who isn't limited on time. So in this video, I just want to jump onto Riverside and just show you how it works and what I'm planning on using it for. Okay, so here we are in my Riverside studio and obviously I've got all of my recordings and uploaded YouTube videos right here. So I'm just gonna go into this one for the example. This is my Pixel 9 thoughts after two months. This one was very popular online. And so right away, right here, we've got the co-creator sidebar. And it's basically just like a regular AI chat very similar to ChatGPT, but the difference with this is that it already knows everything about this piece of content because it's got the, the AI generated transcript from when I uploaded this content and the AI models that co-creator is trained on already know heaps about what works on social media and what doesn't. So it's gonna give you really optimized results, whereas you might have to tell an AI assistant like ChatGPT a bit more information about what you want in detail. And with this, I've already saved time because normally the way I do it is I'll upload my YouTube video to YouTube then I'll wait for it to transcribe the captions and then I'll copy and paste the captions from YouTube into ChatGPT and then I get it to do a whole bunch of stuff in there. Whereas uploading it once to Riverside means that I've got the transcript already ready to go. I don't have to copy and paste it anywhere and I can just start chatting with co-creator about the script. So that already has saved me time. I just wanna go through some of what I think are the most useful use cases for co-creator, especially for me. So the first thing for me is a YouTube description. Personally, I hate having to take the time to write out a YouTube description. It's gonna improve SEO and all that kind of stuff. So that's one thing I generally use ChatGPT for, but with co-creator, all I have to do is just type in something like, write me a YouTube description for this video. And I can be specific. I don't want time stamps and make it SEO friendly. And then it will start thinking and we'll get a result. And just like that, it's given me a really solid result. This is literally the exact perfect length for what I wanted. Sometimes I find ChatGPT gives me really long results and I have to edit it. Whereas like I said, because co-creator is trained already to know what works for social media, it gives me a good result straight away. So I can just copy and paste this straight into my YouTube description on YouTube and I'm good to go. Now next is short clip generation. So obviously I mainly create long form content, but I do want to post more short form and already Riverside's useful for that because if you go to made for you, you've got magic clips and it's going to automatically generate short short form content for you, but you can be even more specific within co-creator. And one thing I've actually experimented a bit with is asking it to recommend what it thinks is the best short form clip. So I might type in, find the part of the video that you think is going to be the best for a short form clip that will help direct people to the long form video. Hit enter on that, just give it a second to think. And just like that, it's created a short two minute clip. It's gonna to explain to me why it picked that part of the video. For me, two minutes is a bit too long. So I'm just gonna say, choose part of the clip that is a max of one minute long. And I've noticed that they've given it to me in horizontal format, but I want it in vertical. So I'm just gonna say, and make it 
a vertical clip. Hit enter. And just like that, it's created this short form clip. And again, it's explained to me why it's chosen this section. I can click play and preview it. And as you can see, it's even added captions and everything. If I want to go in and edit, I just click edit and it's gonna open up my editor. I can maybe just move the captions down a bit and then export it and it's good to go. And it's even given me a title. So everything is handled so straightforward. This is gonna save me a lot of time. So from here, I generally like to post my short form clips on both Instagram and YouTube. So I'm gonna say, give me a caption for this video for Instagram. Hit enter. And there you go, just like that. I've got a caption with hashtags and everything. Thinking up captions for Instagram is something that I don't particularly enjoy. So this is gonna save me a lot of time. Now, the next thing I use AI a lot for is title generation. Now, when it comes to YouTube videos, you should have already come up with your title long before you actually created the video and I did but if you're particularly recording podcasts sometimes you've got a working title but the conversation can go in a different direction when you actually sit down to record it and in which case I think this could be really handy for coming up with a compelling title so I'm just going to ask it to come up with some ideas for the long form video but so it doesn't get confused I can actually go pick content here and then I can select between the different clips that it's already generated so I've already got the magic clips here that I can choose from I've got this short form clip that I just made and then I've got the full long form recording. So I'm gonna pick that and then I'm gonna say, give me a list of title suggestions for this video that I can use on YouTube. Hit enter. And there you go, it's giving me three ideas. I still remember the days when you had to literally write down all of your title ideas manually and you could just generate a whole bunch of ideas like this at once. So this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love AI these days. I want a few more ideas, so give me five more suggestions. And just like that, I've got another five suggestions. I've got a total of eight concepts that I can just figure out what I think is gonna work best. Super straightforward. And this next thing, I'm actually quite excited to test out myself. And that is generating text threads for Twitter or for meta threads. Now, because I'm a little bit less familiar when it comes to this type of content, because I've mainly done video content before, I can go here to suggestions. It's gonna give me a whole bunch of different ideas and suggestions for what I can do with CoCreator, which is super handy. Because even when it comes to ChatGPT, sometimes I just don't know what to prompt it with because I'm just not that familiar with all the ins and outs of different platforms. So I actually find these suggestions really helpful. So here we can go straight to thread for X and it will just automatically put in a prompt saying create a thread for X about and then I can select here one of the different topics. So again, when you first upload your video or record a video within Riverside, it's gonna pick out a bunch of topics from that content. So for me, let's say I wanna go a comparison of hardware features, just like that one, hit enter. And just like that, it's given me a Twitter thread with six tweets that I can just schedule out on X. I could literally sit here and make another seven of these and I'd have a week's worth of Twitter threads that I could just schedule and post automatically. So I'm genuinely really excited about this. I actually really want to experiment a bit more with it. Obviously with the suggestions, there's a whole bunch of other things that you can try with CoCreator. I just want to go through a couple more. The first is a newsletter email. So again, I can pick one of the topics. If I don't want one of these topics, I can literally just clear that and I can just say whatever I want. But I'm actually going to go with actually picking a topic just because that's a little bit more straightforward. I just want to go a newsletter focusing on switching from iPhone to Google Pixel 9 Pro. Hit enter. If you're not already subscribed to my newsletter, feel free to sign up. It comes out every Sunday. And there we go. Just like that, we've got a draft for my newsletter. But again, just like ChatGPT, I can prompt it. I can improve it. I can make it longer, shorter, whatever I want. And lastly, I just want to briefly touch on thumbnail generation generation because you can actually also do that within co-creator so you can go generate images thumbnail prompt it with generate a thumbnail hit enter and then it's literally going to start generating an image now this so far for me has been relatively limited it's going to give you genuinely good results but you can't really modify the thumbnail once it's been created but you can keep generating different thumbnails so i think this would be really handy for thumbnail idea generation. If you have a concept for a thumbnail that you think might work well, you could prompt it within CoCreator and see what it comes up with and use that as concepts to then go and create your own. And just like that, it's actually taken a screen grab from the video itself which is pretty amazing. So there you go. Overall, I think this is a really powerful tool for creators, podcasts, anybody who's making content on a regular basis. And I'm genuinely excited about it because it does take one of my biggest bottlenecks, which is repurposing content. And it actually starts to make it feel a lot more easy and approachable. If you're wanting to give it a go, there's a link in the description where you can sign up for a free trial. And if you decide that it is going to really help you, make sure you use my code NICK20, which will give you 20% off any of the subscription plans. Now, if you're on the fence, 
difference between Descript and Riverside, then check out this video here where I did a full comparison comparing the two to help you decide.